Hey guys, it's Erica, and unfortunately, my Alocasia fried egg has spider mites. Um, as you can see, there is a sad leaf here drooping, and the plant is way over here, so she does not look happy at all. And in this video, I'm pretty much just going to be showing you how I'm getting rid of them and how I found out that she had spider mites in the first place. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. So a little background on this alocasia. This is an alocasia michaeliziana and it is, oh, <laughs> and it is a really gorgeous plant, uh, also known as an alocasia phytic commonly. Whenever it's bringing out a new leaf, unfurling a new leaf, it has a new leaf coming in right here its leaves will turn really sad and yellow like this one is and it will fall off sometimes the leaf would fall off like start deteriorating like a week before a new leaf would come out so seeing a yellowing leaf isn't really a um like a red flag warning to me it's just kind of like a happy sign actually like i'll usually be happy to see a leaf turning yellow and falling off because that would mean that a new leaf is coming out. <sighs> Unfortunately, <laughs> this also kind of led to me letting this infestation go on for longer than it should have before me noticing it. Kind of about like a week or two ago, I started noticing that there was white kind of mold looking stuff on the leaves and I thought it was mold when I first saw it. I tried rubbing it off. I was I didn't know what it was. I, I looked at it, but it was only on two of the leaves, so I wasn't too concerned about it. I just put the leaf, the plant outside of my bedroom where I had the humidifier since I just assumed it was some kind of mold. I thought getting it out of the humidity would kind of get rid of it. Unfortunately, spider mites do like drier climates. <laughs> and taking it out of a humidified room was 100% the wrong move to make. So I did that, I put it in a drier area, and the edges of some of the leaves started getting a little bit yellowed, and I thought to myself, like, I moved this plant outside of a humidified room, and this plant likes humidity, so the yellowing leaves is probably because it's not in a humid environment anymore. <laughs> All of these things just so perfectly added up for me to not notice that it was spider mites. Um, when the yellowing kept getting worse, I got a little bit concerned that it definitely needed to come back into my room where it could be humidified. So that's what I did. I brought it back into here in a humidified area and just continued on until it needed to be watered. It was watering time and that is when I saw the webbing. I saw the spider mites crawling on this poor plant and I'll show you footage of how bad it was. So there was webbing from the top of the leaves and there were just tiny tiny little mites crawling around on the leaves um, just sucking the life out of this beautiful plant. First of all what I did was I sprayed this plant with a hose. I sprayed it with the jet stream just to get off some of the spider mites. I knew that I would have to cut off some of these leaves because they're just too far gone to save. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Last night I hosed this plant down, I sprayed it very well, and I put it right next to the humidifier on full blast last night so that hopefully some of the humidity would be bad for the so today is the time where I'm going to cut off the saddest leaves and I'm, I'm fine with cutting the leaves off because I know that bigger ones are going to grow back later on but these leaves are just too far gone to keep on the plant um, so it's just going to be what I have to do. I have a, I put some alcohol on this knife so it's disinfected and I'm going to be cutting these leaves from the base. I didn't want to use shears because these leaves are kind of rounded and I didn't think that shears would be the easiest to use. 
So as you can see, I just cut off this leaf. Hopefully a lot of the mites were on here and not around <laughs> the other plant. Um, their leaves are kind of like asparagus. I mean, celery. Their leaves are kind of like celery, which is why I'm using this knife instead of shears. So there's the first leaf gone. This is the oldest leaf that the plant had. And I will be throwing it away in a trash can where none of these spider mites can go affect any other plant. Because this plant has been in, luckily, luckily this plant has not been near any other plants throughout this whole entire process. Um, I've always kind of let this plant stand, stand alone by itself. <laughs> so, um, but I am 100% spraying down all of my plants just in case anything has gotten on any of the others. Um, so this leaf is being thrown out. And another sad leaf is this one right here. This one's going, going away. Doesn't look good at all. I don't want this plant to be leafless. I just can't bring myself to do that. So being very careful. Oop. Okay, and on alocasias, their leaves grow from inside, so cutting off the outer leaves isn't going to be the um, worst thing for it, so it should be fine. Good. And I think I'm going to also take off the oldest leaf on the little baby here. There's a little baby on this side, you can see. So I'm going to be taking off the oldest leaf on there because this one is very far gone as well. Okay, three leaves are gone from this plant. And it does look... <laughs> it does look very sad, but... I would rather this plant look very sad and not have any bugs on it. Because it would only get worse. So those were the worst affected leaves and I'm also super concerned about this new leaf coming out because there I can see right now our spider mites crawling on it. To eradicate these, what's left on this plant from getting rid of the most infected leaves, I have my, I have my neem oil spray but as you can see I'm running low. So I'm going to make my some more neem oil mixture. Since this is the size of my water bottle, I make half a liter of with half a liter of water because that's what fits in the water bottle. And I'm going to add one full teaspoon of neem oil. Since the last time I made a video on spider mites and my neem oil mixture, people recommended to use um, this Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap because the bugs also don't like peppermint, so it's kind of a perfect combo. So, <laughs> after making that video, I went right out and bought it. Haven't used it yet, but we're using it now. So, I'm putting half a teaspoon of this soap in here and let that cancel out the neem oil smell. I'm going to mix this up with my spoon and pour it into my spray bottle shake up the spray bottle and since I am going to thoroughly saturate this plant with this spray we're gonna take it outside and do it out there so that everywhere isn't sprayed with neem oil so I am gonna spray down every single leaf front and back and we are drenching this. If it gets in the soil, that's okay because there's probably some in the soil also. We're getting every single baby leaf. Getting the stems.
I am back from spraying down my plant and I have left him outside in a completely shaded spot because plants that have neem oil on them are more likely to get sunburned and the last thing I would want is for that plant to suffer through anything else more than it's already been suffering with all of those <laughs> spider mites on it. I am honestly very worried but I do think that he'll make it through with even if it just has one leaf left uh, since it's an alocasia, if worse comes to worse, I can just store the bulb over the winter, but I'm really hoping it doesn't come to that. I'm going to spray this neem oil treatment on it every other day. Uh, since the bugs, but since some eggs might have not hatched yet and they'll hatch later on even though all the adults are dead, new eggs are still going to be hatching, so I want to make sure to kill those also. Uh, spraying down the soil is very important because there could be little eggs in the soil and stuff. I'm definitely going to repot this plant. Uh, how soon? I don't know, but I need to give it completely fresh new soil. Probably in like on the third spray day is when I'm going to repot it. I am 100% spraying down all of my plants. They're all going to go through this treatment. <laughs> Not as dramatic as the allocation is going to go through it, but they are going to get sprayed down. And uh, <laughs> that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's more I can do, if you have any suggestions for me, because this is my first spider mite infestation. I want to take care of it quickly. I want my plant to survive. And yeah, so please let me know. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>